Hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Um, I want to talk a little bit about a subject that I'm going to talk a lot about this summer. And that subject is biochar. Biochar. Down south they call it biochar. New England they call it biochar. Down here we just call it biochar. Sometimes they call it agri agrichar too. Um, what it is, it's charcoal that is created in an oxygen-deprived environment. That's the best definition that I can come up with. And folks can, you know, uh, research it on their own. Um, but basically we take wood and we cook all the volatiles out of it. We cook everything out of it that isn't carbon. So if I put in a chunk of wood, it comes out of the, the machine is called a retort. It comes out of the retort basically the same size, but just black and very light, just 98% carbon, all right? And where it's made in that oxygen-deprived environment, it is uh, quite pure, quite pure. It has a lot of characteristics that are unique to biochar. And uh, it has a lot of uses. Carbon, we're carbon-based units. It's surprising if I make some and have it sitting out on the table, and people are at the kitchen table, they'll pick it up, they'll move it around, they'll smell it, taste it even, and it is quite inert. There's nothing to it. You don't taste, smell anything. It's quite inert. Um, but what we do with it is we break it up into really small particles, and then we'll mix it into our feed. Now, this morning I talked about <coughs> the... Uh, the soup pot, you know, getting the soup pot going. Um, one of the things that is so important about the soup pot, or it gives us the ability to mix things into our animal feed, our pig feed, that the pigs might not eat on their own, or they might not eat in the quantities that I'd like them to eat it. When I feed them biochar, broken up, um, if I just throw in big chunks, you'll just hear them crunch, 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 breaking it up. But then they get tired of it, and that's it. They don't want too much more of it. I would like them to eat it on a continual basis. Same with the chickens, and here's why. What biochar is good for is, well, several things. But let's start at the beginning. Um, a lot of times you take biochar and you inoculate that biochar with like a compost tea or, you know, just a highly charged bacterial um, medium, good bacteria, and, and then intern it into the soil. And when you do that, soil is made by basically bacteria, little fish, and then protozoa, little fish, and the protozoas eat the bacteria, and then they manure out soil. That's in a nutshell. It's a little bit more complex than that, but that's a good way to think of it. So, if we inoculate the biochar, what's this? Sign into iTunes Store? Are you kidding me? If we inoculate the biochar with bacteria from the digestive tract of the animals, and that goes right to the soil, then we're charging the soil with a whole bunch of bacteria. And the biochar provides... A, uh, a safe place, there you go, safe place for the bacteria. And they're able to reproduce, right? If I inoculate biochar and I sit it in the sun, uh, the biochar has enough uh, moisture in it, hopefully to maintain that bacteria for until nighttime when it cools off and then there'll be some other moisture come down or it rains again. Um, if I take compost and I just put that in the sun, it dries out, the bacteria will die. You know, the sun will do that. But I'm stacking the deck here with biochar. I'm making the soil uh, supercharged with the bacterial content from the animals. Not only do I have their, their manure out there, I have the biochar that it's been inoculated in their digestive tract. That's one of the uses for it. So it, it's very good for my soil and the animals are real good about dispersing it all over the place, you know. They're out in the field. There's my produce field, and i got a bunch of pigs out there. 
And when biochar is in their food, they're out pooping it out all over the place. So um, what we're going to go through is how to use it, how to make it, and what it does. And that's going to take a while. Um, it's a very new concept to a lot of people. It's used in lieu of um, chemical fertilizers. Not to say that you couldn't inoculate biochar with chemical fertilizers. You could inoculate it with rat poison if you want. But in this case, we're trying to skirt chemical fertilizers when possible. Uh, I don't use, I've never used any of them here, but so we skirt it completely. And have a renewable source of uh, material to put into our soils to increase the fertility, if that helps. This is the fourth retort that I built. All right, that's number four. Call it Triceratops sometimes because it has three stacks coming out the top. They're not on it right now. It's a great retort. It makes about 250 pounds of biochar per load. But it is a lot of work to load. And once it's loaded, it's lit off, and then we have no control over it. It just burns off at the, the rate that the wood will burn. Um, I will have to go to the, the blackboard to show you how it works, and I will do that. But right now, here it is Sunday, and I said it's, you know, a day when we get to do what we want to do. Uh, I'm building another one. I'm building a new one. And this was a pressure vessel paint tank, actually, and I've cut the top off of it. Uh, there's the top sitting on the floor over there. I'm just grinding it off so it makes a good seal. The top will have a hinge on it and this will also have a hinge on it so it will it'll be able to open up. And then the vessel that will go on the inside we're going to use 50 gallon drums and I'll, I'll run through that at another time. But this is the beginning stages of retort um, number five. This is mambo number five here. And this one has going to have some bells and whistles on it that we haven't had in the past. This is going to be uh, controllable and I'm also going to give myself the ability to pull some of the wood gas off and utilize it for some of the fun things I like to do around here with with wood gas. So this is Mark from Baker's Green Acres. This is to come and this is a great uh, subject and uh, here we go. <laughs>